Hawaii residents can help unravel the mystery of long COVID, the lingering health conditions that affect some who get the virus. KITV4's Paul Drews now joins us to tell us more about efforts being made to understand long COVID. Paul. Well, we now have a better idea of the financial impact of long COVID, and along with people being able to take part in long COVID research, Oahu residents now have another option for COVID testing. Demand's been high enough that Nomi Health opened its first storefront location. The clinic at the Waikeli Premium Outlets is timely as Nomi workers have not only seen more people getting tested, but more of those tests have turned out positive. Past couple of weeks, we have seen an uptick in positivity rates. Um, part of that is more people are being tested with the holiday season coming up. According to the Department of Health, last week's state positivity rate of 6.2% is right where we were a month ago. But those rates could change as two immune evasive variants were found in the state last week. While variants can be identified, little is known about the lingering effects of COVID, known as long COVID, although a study which looked at insurance claims around the country found it was expensive. The cost of having long COVID is substantially more than the cost of having diabetes, which is a notoriously expensive disease to have. How expensive is long COVID? They also predicted more than nine thousand cost to patient within the first six months, 203 percent increase in medical spending per member per month and a 421 percent increase in inpatient hospital spend. Those are people with um, long COVID. While the impact can be tracked, questions still remain over why some people get long COVID and others don't. We still don't know all that much about it. Some people do seem to recover, but there are people who have had it ever since they had COVID a year or two ago. An effort to find those answers is underway. There's a study taking place at the Johnny Burns School of Medicine, as well as across the country. What the frequency is, who gets it, whether there's um, a, a different people who respond differently are more likely to get COVID than others. Researchers hope to gather data from 17,000 people around the nation, some with long COVID, some who have never had the coronavirus, and they still need a few more residents who recently came down with COVID. We're almost finished. We've now enrolled about 100 participants, but we would like to enroll five more acutely ill individuals. Now, since the health of participants will be tracked for months, the results showing the reasons why only some people get long COVID won't come out until next year. And if you'd like to take part in the study, you can find a link to the information on KITV.com. Just search for COVID study. Paul Drews, KITV4 Island News.